time, uh, housing element, right? We hired probably the worst consultant in the history of housing consultants, right? And we had the grin and bear it. And at some point in the meeting, I'm like, do you even know what you're doing was kind of the question I was asking. Oh, no, you're treating staff without respect. No, I'm asking for accountability and transparency with our tax dollars. That is my job as a commissioner. My job is to make sure that we're responsible with our tax dollars and that we have oversight over the city. Now, of course, I can't direct and tell them what to do, but I should be able to express the outrage residents are feeling. That's a freedom of speech issue, right? And, and, and to not feel that that is correct and to say that I'm bullying staff or telling them like any competent high school student, like every average high school student in this district could probably have done a better job than the individual that was paid hundreds of thousands of dollars to do the job. Like our Cupertino students are so freaking smart. Like if they could have done this job better, cheaper, and we could have given them an internship out of it so they could have used that for applying to colleges. That would have been a better outcome, right? And that's the kind of stuff we should be asking for. Right now, staff does great work. They've done great work in other areas. Our planning commissioners have done great work. I mean, there's also great work that's there and we do recognize when there's great work, but we also have to speak up when something bad is happening. I mean, you saw this happen in city council. We had embezzlement of hundreds of thousands of dollars and they've taken off our committee, our, our city council woman, Kitty Moore off the audit committee. Right. Mm -hmm. They've put like the audit and the treasury report in informational items, which can't even be discussed by the public. Right. We need more transparency, not less after an embezzlement. We need more transparency, not less That's after so we create a situation where it was okay to build like 45 story buildings or 20 story buildings or any housing on toxic land, land that is listed on the Cortese list, which means you got to clean up the land before you can build. Okay. Let's just start there, right? That's the kind of, is it incompetence? Is it intentional irresponsibility? I don't know, but you have to call these things out. It can't be like, oh yeah, you know, I'm so sorry. You know, maybe we should talk about it. Maybe we can't talk about it. Should be a closed session. No, you have to call this stuff out. People's lives are at risk. 